Hi, everyone. My name is Wei, and I. Hmm. Hold on a second. Ah! I'm here. In my corporeal form. Hey, so Andrew Huang was super kind and provided us all with the stems for his song Oblivion. So, I, I made a remix. All right, so here are all the stems laid out in my DAW. Yes, this is Cubase. Yes, this is Cubase 8 from 2015. So first, I decided to just listen to it again with it pitched down three semitones and to see if there's anything that might catch my ears. So I think my favorite part of the original song was that verse section. It's got a lot of glitching and stuff in it and that always catches my attention. So I figured I would open up with just that section kind of stripped away from most of its parts. I've been waiting for someone or something to take me away. The ARP is kind of going through some filter sweeping as well for, you know, more movement. Included in the stems was a riser made out of the counterpoint vocals. So I used it to anticipate bringing in the bass and some percussion. So let's talk about those. Most of the bass is a 909 in the sub frequencies and then a unison bass on top. I felt the bass in the original song though was like super distinctive and I wanted to make sure I got some representation of that in here somewhere. So I sampled just a single note from it and then put it into Pad Shop so that I can play it. I just took that and occasionally popped it in here and there instead of the unison bass, just for some variety and things like that. Some of the percussion in the verse is just absolutely insane. And it adds a layer of kind of chaos that I wanted to embrace here. So I chopped up a section of it and just added it in the background for that extra energy before we move out of the intro. Oh, Andrew, these are so noises. So the intro builds up to 4-4 and a much higher tempo. So I searched around for what I can use kind of as a breath of fresh air to relieve that tension once we get there. I really like the texture of these counterpoint vocals. I don't know, they felt very airy, very light, almost kind of flowery to me. So it just seemed perfect for what I was looking for. So I've added them here. I've done a whole load of automation to this guy. I've got, what is this? Let's see, that's that's an EQ, a delay, a stutter, a filter, a phaser, a glitch plugin, a compressor, a saturator. There's also several other layers too going on in other places. Another saturator, another, another saturator. But basically what this does is this is kind of serving as the main sonic backbone behind the whole song. just so much going on here. I added a whole new drum beat. This has elements from Andrew's drums with some other samples that I have in my library. After that first kind of drop section, I added my own verse with some lyrics that I felt fit the vibe and call back to Andrew's lines. I'm a sucker for vocoders, so I made one here, then fill it in a little more with Andrew's vocals on top of mine. But a big part of the original song's identity are these chord stabs. So I wanted to make sure that I got them in here somewhere. I kind of have them peppered in here and there. They kind of serve as a regular reminder of where this song came from. And that's most of the track. The rest of it plays with these elements and explores a little bit more, but the core elements stay the same. I exported the master into another project, cut it around some places, added a few instances of transit, dark mode. While I was working on this is when Andrew dropped transit. Wow, I'm playing with this thing and it's super cool. So that's me. Thank you to Andrew and the team for the opportunity. And I am so looking forward to hearing everyone else's songs. Jamatane.